So you are not really sure what goes into publishing a video. Not a problem. All right, so the most important part actually happens before you even touch the keyboard, and that is actually planning what goes into the next video. Now, before each video, I personally write a script, but you don't necessarily have to do that. Before that, I would just start this process while I was at work doing some mundane task on autopilot. Autopilot is any point in your day where you can basically turn off your brain because what you're doing is so straightforward and almost down to muscle memory. For me, it was when I was working at Chick-fil-A. Every day in order to prepare the eight piece nuggets, I would have to preemptively unfold hundreds of boxes so that we could quickly just dump the chicken in when the customers came. So for the first 30 minutes of my shift, I would just be unboxing stuff on autopilot. And in the back of my mind while I was doing that, I was actually planning what to do in the next video when I got home. So you should think about the parts of your day when you're on autopilot and start to try and use those to plan your next move. That way, when you come home, you can immediately use your spare time to execute instead of using your spare time to plan. Now, once you've got the video idea, then you can start recording. In my case, I record the audio first, and then I edit it in a software like Audacity to make sure the final audio flows easily and is easy to understand. I import the audio to a video software, then I drag it in, then I start recording the video footage. And I edit it so that it matches the audio. And then I begin creating the thumbnail for the video. Usually I have a template I start off with to save time, but in many cases, making the thumbnail actually takes longer than editing the video. Regardless, when I'm done, I check the video one more time, and if there are no typos, I proceed to upload the video. Now this next part of the process is more annoying the more seriously you're taking YouTube. You don't have to do everything that I'm doing here, but generally everything you see here is something that you can do in order to maximize the chance of your video doing well. First, I open on all the different platforms that I would like to post the video on. So I'll open YouTube, Patreon, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, ArtStation, and Rumble. And then you decide the title, write a fun description, set your thumbnail, and do a little bit of research to find what tags you should put in to maximize the chances that people find your stuff. A great way to do this is to go to a really successful video that's related to yours, right click, open the source, control F, keywords, and then you can see what all the tags are. Then you can just copy and paste them into your own video and adjust them as you see fit. Once I've done that, then I turn monetization on, I say it's not for kids. I set the preview videos that show up at the end, and then I add all the cards that'll remind the viewer what else is going on on the channel. I usually have one related to the current series playlist, a related playlist, my Patreon, and ArtStation. Once I've done that, if it's done uploading, I'll make it unlisted and go ahead and leave the first comment and pin it at the top to get a small head start on the algorithm. And then copy the title and the description to all the other platforms. And then I'll add all the hashtags. Now this part can be a little annoying because hashtags are often different depending on whether you're uploading to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok. Then when I think everything is ready, I'll triple check the video one last time before posting it on Patreon first. Then I'll release it on YouTube, and then I'll release it on everything else. And we're done. Then I start planning the next video so I can do this all over again. One last thing to keep in mind is different types of media perform differently on different platforms. For example, my content does fairly well on YouTube, but it doesn't really do quite as well on Twitter and TikTok. But if you're trying to take content creation seriously, you really can't afford not to be on the other platforms because you really never know who is going to see what and where. Your goal is just to maximize exposure in as many places as you can. But don't be surprised if something does super well on one platform and really not well on the other. So I hope that sheds some light on those of you wondering what the workflow would look like once you start to get your channel off the ground. It's not necessarily hard, it's just a lot of mundane steps and grunt work. Especially if you don't have an editor like me. So just be ready for when that happens to you. Don't be surprised, don't feel overwhelmed, it's just part of the job. Everyone else is doing it too. But yeah, hope that helps and as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around. Oh,